Hey people, Indrid here, 2v2, Ruins of Argus, blue team, I believe this translates as dragon, playing a Farseer support hero fighting in melee combat, powerful support and control abilities, buffs and all that good stuff. Alongside I believe this translates as Russia, playing a tech marine starts off with a bolt gun, puts out some good damage, can support with structures and repair, red team, Gaz rocking a commando knob, an infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you and blows you up. Orky style begins with a twin link shooter. Rounding off the team here. I believe this translates as yesterday something something. Rocking a plague champion. Starts off with a bolt gun damage over time. Can support, repair and even get some melee going on. This is the death guard elite scheme. Kicking off in the mid. Contested victory point is here. Well I guess they're all contested. So technically still correct. Tech Marine and some TAC doing some good DPS so those shooters runs them off. Scouts run off by a bolt of fight as well. Sometimes you'll see someone take up this garrison early and harass the power and the VP and stuff. Didn't see it here though. Saw some convergence on the mid. Tech Marine now goes towards the northeast to help out but they're being flanked by Chaos Space Marines and the Plague Champion. Where are the heretics? They're busy capping that southwest there. Good usage of their time I think. Farseer grabs a northeastern VP. There's the first v VP cap there. The attacks. They should be meleeing this plague champion, I think. But they didn't. Wary of the sluggers coming in, maybe. These guys are going to shoot some shooters. Decent stun bomb on the Banshee. Sluggers getting very low, though. And Kamadonov goes down. Banshees are all right. Aspect of fleetness is in. Plague Champion does get the revive and needs to run. Gets level 2 as well. I guess they killed some Eldar. Maybe a scout or two. Plague Champion goes down but should get easily revived from there. And Chaos Space Marine melee on the Banshees. A frantic opening. Oh, the Tech Marine also fell. Farseer is going to get a revive. Chunk of XP there. Tech Marine is already level 2. Just from shooting stuff. Crack on bolts popped, which does affect melee damage, giving 20% more versus heavy infantry. Sluggers looking for a way through and a way in. Commando is going to revive the Plague Champion here. Not going to level him up. Eldar are trying to get some forward capping done, maybe overextended a bit. Grenade is really well dodged by Gaz. Farsi is very low, throws the guide on the guardians and then they ran and she may pay for it turning to put the put the guide up there eight hit points looks like she makes it out sluggers now overextended a bit the attacks getting into some melee predicting that they will retreat and take more damage from it storm boy is coming in though and these guys have power melee weapons a big threat to those tactical marines Got a damage and a good special banshee's coming in to save them maybe with some specials of their own and a war shout and they do get away that was close though very close and uh double csm for yesterday with a turn of war russia has now got some assault marines jumps them in chain swords and bolt pistols 400 hit points per model oh we've lost the indicator for the plague champion it is what happens one to one cap here Oh, the CSM dropped a model. Sluggers to counter-initiate. Gonna need some burners up, I think, fellas. To really threaten that assault squad. But they did spend on Storm Boys. Did they spend on anything else? There's a knob leader on the way. No war gear, though, for that fella. Devastators now for Russia. With double scouts up, actually. And shotguns on one of them. Where are they? Oh, they've been operating in the southwest. I'm not really, really sure what's been going on down here. Red victory point, that's for sure. The v the powers, the natural powers very close to each other. This has probably been bashed then, has it? It's only getting loaded now. Devastators are going to try and cover it. And now we have a melee plague champion. That's really bad news for the assault squad. The plague sword is very effective against those fellas. With power melee that ignores melee resistance and can create some zombies. And it's really nice to have a zombie assault marine because you can jump them and disrupt something. War shout banshees. 
doing good work, but now they're taking some darker. And there's more coming. Needs to put pressure on to try and make these guys run. They're getting in there with some power melee kicks. And a good special. Those guys might wipe. Oh, did they get knocked far enough down the staircase there? Maybe. There's a stun bomb. There it is. Looks like it was enough. They may have got away anyway. Yeah, I think maybe they would have. I don't think the Guardians could have finished them. Meanwhile, Southwest Assault Squad jump onto the Heretics who take the garrison. They've got grenade launchers and an aspiring champion. I hear Banshee's yelling. Oh, at the commando. Storm boys right here. Look how close this power is to the base. You can get on them, though. Meanwhile, Assault Squad run away from the Plague Champion because he's got a scary sword. And Fetid Armor is in for the Unholy Stench. And now they're power bashing with some Nurgle Worship, providing some health regen to these fellas. Not to the heretics themselves, though. Poor fellas. Storm Boys capping. Guardians down to just two models trying to cap. A level two Farseer for Dragon into tier two. First player to go. Any war gear for the Tech Marina, they spent a bunch of power, double shotguns, assault marines, and devastators. Nothing wrong with the heavy tier tier one though. Guardians, are they going for the garrison? That's really risky. Because sluggers can get oh they've they've killed the sluggers. They have killed the sluggers over here, look. Banshee's got it done, didn't they? Assault squad with a really good jump on a blob of orcs. Shows up at a really good time. The tech marine, level four now. Without a weapon upgrade, level four. Gaz asking for a revive. Yeah, they're near base. Should get revived. Look at red team stealing power down here, though. Can blue team bash? Got a bunch of stuff here. Tax busy capping, though. Shotgun scouts could maybe get closer to help bash quicker. CSM with a ton of war. 20% more damage to uh, melee and ranged attacks. Picking off some scout models here and there. Hey, Champion doesn't seem to want to go in. Must have trying to kill some scouts, maybe. I thought they'd be running up there towards the assault squad. Crap. Couldn't get a model off them. Guardians leveling to two with their battle equipment. Do they both have it? These guys are getting it for some grenade action. They're getting their power back. 418 to 445 on the VPs. Mid is blue. And here's a Falcon. Support the vehicle for Eldar with some powerful weaponry. And damage vehicles as well. More expensive than the other tier 2 support vehicles. So we've got some chosen Plague Marines here for yesterday. Unique to the Plague Champion with power melee Plague Knives that do damage over time. They can create zombies and they passively damage nearby enemies too. Very tough, although they only have regular infantry armor. They have tons of hit points and health regen. Explode on death. Really good target for your touch of Nurgle if you have it available. Which yesterday does not have available. It's 175 red, isn't it? Banshees get the specials going. They're really dominating the the Storm Boys in combat with those special attacks, aren't they? Every time they get close to those Storm Boys, they mess them up pretty badly. Double cap here for the blue team. Threw onto the power. Why did he retreat, fellas? Not sure why the Assault Squad retreated there. Maybe because... Oh, it might be just because the Tech Marine wants them back fighting here. Chosen Plague Marines did drop a model. So now they can get zombies from Nurgle's Rot off those guys and from the Plague Champion's Sword, who's level 4. Although... I believe the damage of the Plague Sword doesn't actually go up as the Plague Champion levels because of the way the damage is implemented. It's, it's technically not a weapon attack. It's not a melee attack since it does ignore melee resistance. It's like a, an added damage effect afterwards. But being able to ignore melee resistance, I think, makes up for it not scaling up with level. Although it would be nice if they looked into scaling up a little bit at least if not how regular melee weapons do scale 
418 to 311. Would be nice if it scaled up in a unique way, like the higher the level of the Plague Champion, the longer the zombies last for or something. That would be cool. Scouts get away. This power just cannot catch a break, can it? Farsi is going to go down. Dragon must be looking elsewhere. Yep, they're in a big old fight in the northeast. Falcon barely made it away. Storm boys may be getting some hits with their knob leader. Oh, and there's tank busters up. That would explain it. Storm boys have found some devastators all isolated. Plague champion comes to help. And are they dead? Very nearly dead. So very nearly dead. Storm boys are trying to bomber boy them. I think it worked. Devastator is wiped by the bomber boy, but have they sacrificed themselves to do that? They have. Falcon able to get them down there. Plague Marines on the field for yesterday. With a snaring missile launcher, can get some shots on the Falcon maybe. And warp spiders up for Dragon. Double tank busters for Gaz. Warp spiders getting their X up. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a tank buster barrage. Can they get through and power bash? Commando does have stuff. Mega boom kits and stick bombs of his own. Nurgle Shrine going up. They can reinforce off this if it's been worshipped. Otherwise, it'll heal you and suppress enemies. And Plasma Gun Tech Marine doing huge DPS. Plasma Devs getting a decent shot there too. Scouts don't want to hang around here. There's the worship so those plague, uh, chosen plague marines can reinforce and get some healing. There we go. There's a zombie assault squad. Assault marine. Is he going to jump? Oh, I didn't jump. Level 5. There he goes. Level 5 plague champion but goes down in midair. And that's a noxious cloud. That's a weird place to use it. Nothing was around, and there's base right there, so they get damage resistance. So that might be a waste of a global over there. Meanwhile, Warp Spider's doing Warp Spider things, which is a bunch of DPS while they teleport around and annoy you. Reinforcing off the Falcon, of course. This is not a good fight for these shooter boys. What are they up to? I guess they're just doing what they can. Tank Buster Barrage. Got a few hits there. They've stopped worshipping the shrine. Plague, Chosen Plague Men's got fully healed up. Here comes a heavy bolter turret. Very spiteful place to put it. Just outside of the Tech Marine's base. These guys both popping their slaughter there with the Aspiring Champion. And they take this turret down quickly. Tech Marine looks for the heavy cover, but those guys draw their chainsword with their slaughter there. And is that Mark of Zinch? No, I thought I saw Mark of Zinch. Inferno bolts for a second. Is it worth getting some Wraith Guard up, maybe? We're already looking for tier 3. We do have a Whirlwind on the way. Uh-oh. Tank buses on rear armor. One more volley would do it. Down goes the Falcon. I don't think a Whirlwind is a great pick here. Because Plague Marines could chase it into base and take it out. And there's those double tank busters too. Banshee's retreating. Plasma Tax retreating. Red team on the warpath. Although, are those tank busters alright? I think the tank busters are alright. Farseer does have rune armor for Psychic Storm. There's some Nurgle worship. Can the blue team break out? 280 to 251. They still have decent armies. It is a whirlwind. It is up. Long range artillery that can disrupt very effectively. Or it could just miss and not hit anything. The gamble you take with a whirlwind. Farseer, I'll chase something all the way through. Did it kill? No. The tank busters survived, it looks like. Meanwhile, commandos capping. I hear banshees war shouting. Trying to finish off things. Warp Spiders coming to harass the Commando. Get very good stun bomb. Predicting the path of the Banshees into stick bombs. But didn't quite throw that far enough. Although it's hard to judge exactly where those things are going to fall. Double shotgun scouts. 
both level two. Getting some shotgun blasting, but they're struggling. Every time they get focused, they're struggling to stay in play, which is understandable. Not a lot of space for them to maneuver here. A double shotgun blast, it might be just will be worth it for that though. Being able to chain that together could be very effective. Sort squad have found the heretics, but the shrine is suppressing them. Does it actually damage them as well? I don't know, I don't think so. 215 to 251 on the VPs. There's Slaughter on the double CSM. They can draw melee weapons and go to town. There's some very scary damage when they do that. It's got a pretty long cooldown though, Slaughter. I think it's two minutes. And it starts on cooldown too. It's not a feature they use very often to balance things. 200 to 251 on the VPs. Whirlwind with some good disruption there. But Plague Marines now getting shots in. Can they focus them down? There goes one model. Notice that the Plague Marine explosion doesn't heal their own models. It does on the chosen Plague Marines. And at some point, it did on the Plague Marines as well. And that might be like retail days. And Tech Marine just got some... Oh, did he get another Whirlwind? Really? Huh. Gaz is tier 3. Gaz has a knob squad up. With Mina and Greener. Tier 3 for Yesterday and Tier 3 for Dragon. Who has enough red to drop a nuke. So does Russia if they can get to Tier 3. I probably shouldn't use nuke and Russia in the same sentence when they get demonetized. Power Bastion. They haven't really got on this power very much up here, have they? But they completely messed up the southern one. So I suppose there's that. Farsia is battered to death by the Knob Squad, who popped their frenzy for some reason. I don't think Double Guardian should make you pop your frenzy, or maybe the Warp Spiders are pouring damage on too. Here we go. How long can they stand here and headbutt Eldar for? Not very long, if the Whirlwinds will have some to do with it. The main weakness of the Knob Squad is getting disrupted and knocked over. The Whirlwinds may be super useful there, especially with the Plasma Cannon also. And they've got Shotgun Blasting Scouts, of course. Might have might have actually pretty good tools to deal with the Knob Squad. But of course, there are going to be other things to deal with. Double Slaughter CSM pouring DPS on. Chosen Plague Marines now level 2, 2200 hit points. Blue team after mid. See a Council in play. Can they finish off the Plague Marines? They are going to explode on death, but they get it done. That's a win. These guys didn't seem to be helping very much. Banshees are war shouting. Where are they? They're up in the northern edge. Going after a commando. Oh, and then they saw a knob squad coming in. So they so they leave. Battle wagon on the way for Gaz. No knob, leave, log, knob leader for those guys yet. Fake champions level 6. Doing some work with that sword, eh? Maybe we'll see the um, icon of Nurgle later. Always fun to see. Red team are kind of getting depleted. They're getting worn down in these fights. Blue team are under pressure, but they weathered it well, and they've taken out the Nob Squad. See, a council can do huge amounts of work for you against the Nob Squad, and of course, the Plasma Gun was helping too. Can the red team recover from this? Signal Mama. So probably mark target on them as well. Not wasting any time to Power Bash. They have been on this power quite a lot. There's a stun bomb. And there's a special shooter. An orky shotgun. Huge amounts of fun. And there's the battle wagon trying to run things over. It won't knock things over if it's retreating though, because that could lead to um, huge damage spikes when things got caught under the battle wagon while I was trying to, trying to retreat and also get knocked over at the same time kind of thing. 165225 double cap for blue now. Yesterday trying to recover with a land red of Phobos. Might just drive it into base and take out those two whirlwinds because they've been surprisingly effective I think. Since they've been able to stay so far back and still do work. 
Yesterday maybe pushing a bit too much, maybe. Maybe they should try and stabilize on the mid a bit more. Single cap now for blue. Commando's taking a northeastern VP, looks like, on the map. Whirlwind's doing whirlwind things. Level 7 tech marine pumping out the DPS. And the play champion's gone down. Battle wagon getting stuck on wall. Hunter killer missiles going in from the whirlwinds. TSM, yeah, they don't want to fight a seer council or other chosen plague marines. They got some zombies. They got some zombies. Seer council with the uh, Nurgle's rot there. That's pretty cool. I assume they have their passive jump and stuff. Oh, they blew up. They blew up. Double cap for red team all of a sudden. Eldar throwing a webway up northeast, which is smart. And Banshee's on it. Level 3 Banshee's on it. Battle Wagon's going to have a word with them about all this capping lock. And there's the Phobos. With Laz Cannons on the side. Sponsons, did that hit? It can't it hit infantry super well, but it, it, it's not awful at it. Battle Wagon doing weird Battle Wagon things. Kind of bounces around like a toddler. Tank Buster Barrage takes out the webway. Spotted by the Shooter Boy knob there. Farseer decides not to cap the VP with the Phobos there. Are they going to go after the Whirlwinds? There is a Bright Lance in play and now a Laz Cannon in play. Lots of damage coming in on the Phobos and a Hunter Killer and there's a Melter Gun Tech Marine. Did it have Mark Target on it? Maybe Mark Target was on it and we just can't see because the Phobos is so big. Just like enveloping the effect. The Phobos needs to leave, surely. It's going to go down. Down it goes. Have to call that sloppy play from yesterday. I think they brought it here to assist with the revive. But when the last cannon come out, they had to just they had to just leave, fully leave. Another knob squad up for Gaz. I mean, I don't think it was an an amazing pick anyway. Great unclean one would do well here, I think, because of base not being far away. Double cap for red team though. Some fast capping tacks are trying to grab the mid. Knob Squad disgorged from the Battle Wagon. Orb went on it. Looks like it's going to go down. They got one of the Whirlwinds. Battle Wagon does indeed go down. They got both Whirlwinds? Yeah, they got both Whirlwinds. Losses on both sides. Tech Marine. Are you going to get level 10 here, bud? Never late at the moment. See a Council. Vicious. On the knob squad. Knob squad. Oh, they do have their knob leader. Oh, one of them's lagging behind. I couldn't see five models there. Chosen Plague Rings now level 3. 24, 20 hit points. Triple cap now for blue, though. Can they hold on to it? They have the Eldar mobility. It's worth throwing more webways up, I think. Although they may have an eye towards dropping a nuke. Look at the Tech Marines maxed out red and they go tier 3. I wonder if they've queued something up already. Still the triple. Gaz with a looted tank on the way now. Tech Marine is hiding behind the wall, ready to unleash that Melter Gun. And there's some Chaos Terminators. They won't like the Melter Gun. They won't like the Seer Council either. And there's Mark Target having to teleport the hell away. Are you going to get Lightning Claws here? There, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of infantry you're up against. And it helps nullify the Seer Council threat somewhat. Might be worth grabbing Lightning Claws on those guys. There's the looted tank. Webway is going up. Oh, it's going to put port immediately, though. Banshees are not actually inside of it. It's just a visual glitch. They're okay. Bright Lance watching the mid. There is a looted tank on the field that they could target. Single for the blue team. 
those guys not trying to cap because there's a plasma cannon. They're going for the the corner points. They grab southwest and northeast. There's two to one for red. It's very close. Eldar going pretty heavy northeast here. This dragon. That thing stays mid. They've got warp spiders, seer count. No, seer council aren't there. At least not yet. Orcs can't hold against this. Barrage misses completely. All those guys need to run. There we go. Oh, maybe they were trying to wait for the knob spot to show up. Oh, the, the Banshees don't want to stick around at all. Really? With Doom and Guide, maybe they could have done some work there. Got some commandos up now for Gaz, but they've been caught by a Seer Council. And there's Tech Marine support with some Plasma Attacks. Level 4 Plasma Attacks. Are they going to make it out? I think they're okay. Knob Leader's got a decent chunk of hit points. 23 to 41. It's so close. Red team, I think, are capping the mid right now. Maybe. Is that a venerable dreadnought? I think it bloody is. There he is. Unique to the Tech Marine. 1750 hit points. And there's not a huge amount here to threaten this guy. The Terminators could use their power fists maybe, but that wouldn't be a very good fight for them. Big Champion tries to fight it with a Plague Sword. That's not a good fight for sure. He's just trying to buy time for the cap, I guess. The Venerable Dreadnought cannot cap. 17 to 41. The Dreadnought uses its charge to knock stuff over. Breaks its own drop pod. Fast here, level 6 shows up. And we have Armor of Fortune now. Will we be able to even see the Armor of Fortune? Because isn't it the same effect? It might be slightly different. Some kind of blue stuff. That was Doom on those CSM. They almost died immediately. 8 to 41. There's the 1 to 1. And there's a single for blue. Banshees versus Commando and Shooter Boys. Did they already use the high explosive shells? They must have. Gaz down to two units. Some late game Havocs up here for yesterday. Could be a really good shout. Try and control the movement of those Seer Council. Can they drop a nuke there? Yesterday can drop a nuke. So we may see one. Terminators with no upgrade are getting venerable dreadnoughted, but they're able to cap. There's a one to one again. Seven to nineteen. Havocs. Oh, they're getting a Laz Cannon to take out the Venerable Dreadnought, I see. I thought they just wanted a Heavy Bolter to try and control the Eldar stuff. But I guess this is a pretty big problem. Chaos Terminators are going after it with Power Fists. And there's the Laz Cannon getting shots. Can this guy get away? Maybe he can charge. Can come south a bit and charge to the east. Two to one for blue. Nob Squad back on the VP though. Commando Nob is here. So is a bunch of other Eldar stuff. Those guys are just going to try and tough it out, but they're getting the yeah, gear. They're going to get. They should fight the Banshees, I think. Pop your frenzy and fight the Banshees. There we go. Otherwise, they're going to get special attacked off it. Blue team have it. Two to one at the end, and blue team get it. That was so close. Oh, they dropped an Eldritch in the mid look. And the Vendred survived. Awesome. There's a Nurgle shrine at the end there. A level 7 Farseer somewhere in there. The Tech Marine was level 9 and down up in the northeast, actually. With that Melter Gun. Commando Knob level 5. We're trying to get this decap at the end. And a level 8 Plague Champion again somewhere in that storm. What an awesome game. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time.